guys, welcome back. Um, I'm going to tell you a wee fly that's been doing well for me. Um, the last couple of times I've been out for the salmon. That's, it's nothing special. It's a simple wee fly to tie. The hook in the vise is a size 12 partridge period double in black nickel. The thread that I'm going to use to tie the fly is uni thread 80 in red. So I'm just going to come in and get the thread started. A couple of mil behind the eye of the hook. Run on a couple of mil of thread and remove the waist tag. The tag in the rib of the fly is going to be a hot yellow wire to show the spool. The older wire and hot yellow. So I'm just going to catch this in underneath the shank of the hook. Then bring your wire in underneath the shank and just run your thread down to hang this in. I'm just going to bring my thread down slightly past the points of the hook. And then I'm going to come round with four or five turns of the ultra wire and then the last turn bring it up and in between the, the two hooks around with a turn to catch that in now just keep it in underneath and just run your thread up hang this in just going to bend back the wire and we'll use this bit for our rib of the wee fly yeah, just run my thread back down, tied up against the tag. Okay, the tail is just dyed some burst fox tail. Yeah, just looking a small amount, not looking too much. Just a wee small amount of fox tail. And you want this anywhere between length and a half and two lengths the shank or the hook sorry over the back so just add in there or you can have it longer or shorter just depends what way you like to tie and face your flags just lift the excess come in and trim this in a bit of a tapered cut the body is a large holographic gold tinsel Wee length off here from the last fly that I tied. So, just get myself ready. There's a slap of rain coming, so just gotta get yourself prepared. It's so starting to come towards the end. Now. So I'm just tying that in, and then I'll just come up with the, the holographic gold tinsel. Just looking your, get yourself going a wee clean turn at the back, good clean turn at the back here, sorry, and then just overlapping turns of the gold holographic tinsel up the body. So there, fill it around with your thread, a couple of tight turns will secure that in for you, come in and trim away the excess. And then we'll just come up with the hot yellow wire and you're looking four turns of the hot yellow wire up the body nice and tight follow this around with your thread a couple of tight turns to secure that in then you can bend and break away the wire now if you've got designated scissors you can cut the wire away it's up to you now at this stage all I did was just put a wing on just this is grey squirrel tail uh, dyed a, a nice bright yellow. So just get ourselves enough squirrel tail off here for the wing and the throat or under wing, whatever you like to call it. Now, you don't have to stack it, you can put it on like this. I have just a habit of stacking squirrel tail. I just think it looks a bit better. So that's it, out of the stagger. Just Lined up, and then I just want the tips of the squirrel tail just to be coming past the the bends of the hook. So I'm just going to come in and hold it here. Come in and take a measurement. Trim the excess away over my bin. Get this as close to the shank of the hook as you can. And then I'm just going to come around with a pinching loop and a couple of turns just to secure it in. 
at this stage I'm just going to get a wee lick of super glue onto my thread this is just a, a Loctite super glue just use whatever you've got or varnish I don't like to use super glue just use varnish it's entirely up to you any excess just come in and wipe that away then I'm going to put in some UV micro flash just two strands just going to offer these up to the hook and on the sides a couple of turns going to fold the excess back I'm going to leave it all in I'm going to just trim this the two longer pieces just the length of the the tail and we're not looking too bad back color grey squirrel tail dyed orange for the throat or the underwing so just get a pinch of this off Now, 10 or wee version in red just going to stack this two guys 10 or wee version in red that done well too for me last weekend so it did good wee day out plus the fish wanted to play ball so that's half of the battle, so I'm just going to take a, a measurement here and bring it up underneath I just want to try and get it roughly to the, to the same length it doesn't have to be exactly perfect I'll just secure that in now just come in and have a wee check just before I secure it all in just like to double check then come in nice pair of sharp scissors Trim the excess, the squirrel tail away. I'm going to come back in with a, another like a super glue. Just wipe it onto the thread. And then take it down over the, the cut ends of the squirrel. Back up into position. Now we're not looking too bad, there's nothing to the beef now, it's dead simple. Now you can whip finish at this stage. And I would, I would suggest the wee fly would still work, but I've just got two wee jungle cock eyes here, and jungle cock, it's not the it's not the cheapest thing on the planet when it comes to fly tan. So I'm just gonna get these prepared. Stroking back the fibres here just to get myself a tan in point. Just offer these up to the hook. Just come around and hold them. A couple of turns just to, to hold them in place. Just to check the length. I'm happy enough with that. So just hold your jungle cock. I'm going to take another couple of tight turns down. I'm going to fold the stems back get into the habit of folding the stems back guys rather than cutting them off the jungle cock will have to break off they can't pull out on you so just tighten up here and just tidy your head up at the same time just keeping your thread tight and come in and break away the, the stems of the jungle cock still keeping your thread tight don't let it go just come in and throw in a nice tight whip finish. Put your thread tight. Come in, trim away the tan thread. Now, first coat on the head on the salmon flies is always super glue. Just right on right around the head. Don't want this going in the air. Your squirrel tail. We'll just stiffen everything up real the wee fly on you and then once that's finished guys I'll come in and put on a couple of coats of varnish just to seal up the head now I'll, I'll tie you the wee red version I'll do the wee red version for the channel but nothing's different just the tail is red fox tail and then the wing and the underwing is 
uh, grey squirrel tail dyed red. So look guys, tie a few of those up, they've, they've worked for me. Um, had a good wee day. Um, four fish took this fly and I had another five takes because I seen the fish when I was playing them on the red version. So look, tie a few up, hopefully they can get you a few fish. Um, as always, many thanks for taking the time to view the video. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. It helps the wee channel out. And until next time folks, stay safe and take lanes.